What is this thing I found on a hiking trail in British Columbia, Canada? About 6.5 inches long and 1.5 inches wide at each end. Not sure if it's brass but appears to be and is quite heavy. Small protrusions at each end might suggest it fit into something else. No visible writing on the object. What is it? It's a Vajra, a Buddhist ritual object. It is related to the word for diamond and appears to be similar to the thunderbolt weapon carried by the Vedic god Indra and the Olympian Zeus. As a thunderbolt weapon, it destroys both internal and external enemies. If there's a lost and found, I take it there. They're probably looking for it. What are these things I found at a garage sale with a bunch of old chemistry and science stuff? Some of the old glass bottles dated from the late 1800s. They seem to be made of some kind of sheet metal and stamped with measurements of some sort. Any ideas? If it's chemistry related, likely these measure centiliters and deciliters of liquid. Looks like they may be for determining the specific gravity of liquids that won't work with a hydrometer. I've used similar gauges in the past, but I forget what they are called. They are calibrated to hold exactly a set volume. Fill it cap it and weigh it then use the weight at the set volume to calculate the specific gravity. Some kind of folder with the name JVC on it contains a mirror and frosted glass might have something to do with analyzing photo negatives. It also contains a strong magnifying lens. 26.5 by 20 centimeters in size. Lens says Japan on it probably where it was made. The triangle might be for clamping down pictures for checking with the lens. Thanks in advance. This is a Japan Victor Corporation Telescene Adapter Attachment, used to transfer celluloid films of 8mm, Super 8, 16mm, 35mm, or even color slides to a camcorder or digital camera. JVC is best known as an electronics company and the maker of the VHS tape format. What are these roadside poles in Switzerland, and why are they triangular and not just 2D signs? Some have a superscript number 1, located along the roadside and sometimes away from the roadside. The numbers increase or decrease by 1 as you drive past. The poles are roughly 100 meters apart and all have a phone number on them. What are they for? In Switzerland those are used to mark gas pipelines. Under the big number there is a phone number in case of a gas leak. You call and tell them the two closest numbers to the leak, so they can close the section concerned. What is this bendable plastic thing I found next to the water at a fishing spot? Might have to do with fishing and around 20 centimeters long. It has two tiny gripping surfaces on the top and bottom. I've searched fishing websites and looked for any accessories, but couldn't find anything. What is it? I think it is a fishing bait plunger, used to plunge down the bait into a PVA mesh. It's convenient, easier, and quicker for putting fishing lure baits. What is this wooden yardstick with odd number spacing on one side and a pointed metal covered end? One side is standard inches 1 to 36. One has numbers with spaces that grow exponentially smaller as the value increases from 1 to 120. The end where numbers start at 1 is pointed with a metal covering. The opposite end has what appears to be wine. It is old, but I don't know how old. Any ideas? It's a cask gauge for measuring the volume of a barrel in wine gallons, probably from the mid-19th century. The diameter of the cask head, its widest section and the length between the two points are measured. The gauge is then dipped through the bunghole until it reaches the far side of the barrel. What are these vintage wood-handled metal bladed instruments? These were received together as a gift. The hole in the middle of the implement is intriguing. These appear fairly old and handmade. There's a standard US letter-sized piece of paper for sizing. Unaware of any writing on them. Any ideas? It's a set of old dough cutters. Maybe the other one is for scraping the dough from a working surface. The hole could simply be a means to hang it. What is this item of cutlery made by Tudor plate? Made of silver, 9 cm long and 4 cm at the widest point. Would love to know its original purpose. 
It's a food pusher. It was common in Victorian society when it was rude for anyone, even children, to touch food with their hands. Kids were given food pushers to help them rake their dinner onto their forks. It could also be used for the same purpose by those with disabilities, like people with crippling arthritis in their hands. What is this carved wooden container I picked up at a garage sale? It has a little door on the lower side. The top looks like it should open. Bought this for $7 in rural Pennsylvania today. Appears to be pretty old. The whole thing is about a foot long and a few inches tall. What is it? It's an incense box. Usually the whole top is a hinged piece that opens up revealing the holders. And you insert the stick into the slot. And the smoke disperses through the holes in the top. What is this old cast iron piece with raised nubs around the circles? Found in the northwest at an estate sale, mixed in with tons of other random things that didn't go together. It's cast iron and about 10 inches long. The only identifiable marking is a pat penned around the top of the handle. Also there are two small screw holes on the sides that make me believe there is more to this piece that is long gone. Tried all of the traditional search methods and reached out to a circle of people who are usually good about knowing that things are but this one has stumped us all. The best guesses so far are horse curry comb, back scratcher and front scratcher. What is it? It's a corn nubber. You push the dried corn cob through the appropriately sized hole as you twist it, popping the kernels off. I think the screw holes are to optionally mount it to the top edge of a bin, so that all the kernels land inside. What is this construction device with a yellow base? Not sure if it goes into the ground. Makes melodic humming noises at regular intervals and increases in pitch. It was found in my backyard located in Missouri, USA. It was taken through a double pane window with the morning sunlight hitting it just right. That is Soarline Rapid Assessment Tool or SLRAT. It is a highly portable on-site assessment tool that quickly detects blockage conditions in gravity-fed sores. It can provide an assessment in 3 minutes or less with no flow contact. This is a countertop in my shed. Looks like a sink should go here, but it's covered with a plastic insert. It lets a bit of light through. But I don't think that's the primary function of this insert. The plastic insert is the size of a normal kitchen sink. It feels like hard plastic material like an outdoor table. At first I thought it was a haphazard way to cover the sinkhole. But it appears as though this item was made for this purpose. It's a built-in cutting board. They were pretty popular in kitchens in the 1970s. We had one in my old house. And my grandparents had one too. What is this some kind of a plastic handle in the ceiling of the bathroom in an old apartment? It has a metal rusty long rod attached to it that can be seen while pulling it down, and probably a spring. It's jumping right back when letting it go. About 7 centimeters in diameter. And it's in the shape of a bulb. It has a plastic base that is attached to the ceiling. We asked the apartment owner. But he didn't know what it was. I also searched handle in the bathroom ceiling. But without any luck. What is it for? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.